so today I will show y'all how to make a tutu real simple real easy real fun not really um, the fun part probably not so much real tedious I will say that um, so my friend she is awesome and she is doing a dirty 30 photo shoot cake smash photo shoot type thing for her birthday for her 30th birthday um, and she wanted me to make her a tutu so this tutu is for an adult but you could do this for a child you can do it for anybody and today I will be showing you how to use a uh, elastic waistband to make your no so tutu I'm probably way late on this bandwagon but I figure maybe there's somebody out there that would want to see my technique so let me show you what here I made is the on. tool that I already have cut up and here is the remaining tool um, on the roll and here's the reason we did it this way is because this is the only color they had but this is also cheaper however you can get this pre-cut into these little like slits like this but it comes like on a toilet paper roll so it comes like this but already cut into these slits but we didn't do that so I'm going to show you how so you get this fabric on the roll and you cut probably about five to six inches slits all the way down and this is folded into two already so this is it'll come out to be one entire piece of tool but it'll be two it's hard to explain but it won't be once i show you how it's done okay so you take it and it's y'all aren't gonna be able to see all of this but you cut right here and you just cut all the way down And once you cut all the way down you will have this this entire slit here you can't see but it's just one long piece folded over you keep it folded right here do not unfold that so it's like two pieces in one you keep it folded okay so that's the first step you're gonna want to cut up all your material and then you will move on to step number two. Okay, so process number two of this. Let me see, Bubba. No. All right. I hurt my arm too. Okay, move along. Okay. So process number two of this, you're going to get some panties or an elastic waistband if you want to buy that separate I had um, I had a elastic waistband and it was not very elastic -y. the stretch in it had gone out so I decided I would I had this new pack of panties that do not fit me I got them and I got the wrong size so you know what we gonna use them we gonna use them for their waistband. So you just cut the elastic off. Very simple. Boom, that's done. Now you cut the elastic waistband because you're going to cut it to be the size you need. So I will let y'all know that this was, I believe, about eight and a half yards of tool, and it's going to fit around a 41 inch waistband. The waistband will stretch and all that graviness. So, yeah. So now we just need to cut this little bad boy down to size. And then we'll move on to our next step. So on the subject of how to reattach your waistband or how to attach it originally, because when you get waistbands or elastic bands, they are not attached. So what you could do here, sorry guys, what you could do here is um, you could, if you don't want to sew, you can tie it. You can tie it right here. 
which is exactly what I'm going to do because my sewing kit is in yonder. I just want to make sure, you know what, no, I think I'm actually going to sew this. I'm scared if I don't sew it, it's not going to fit right. I might have cut too much off the waistband. Let me see how many inches this is. Pause. Okay, so I just ended up tying it. So the way you do it is you take it and you fold it over this way and you tie it like that and then you just pull the knot as tight as you can so that it makes a small little knot. And then you cut off the excess. So, anywho. Yes, and what that will allow is for the band to stay nice and smooth and that little nub will go in the back nobody will see it won't be noticeable you can even tie your first little streamer onto it so let me show you how you do this so remember i said to keep it folded and that reason is is you're going to put it over this so one side, I hope y'all can see exactly what I'm doing here. So one side will be on this, and one side will be on this side. And you want the ends to be even. And once you get it like so, you take it. Okay, and then you're going to tie it in a little knot, just the same way you tied the underwear band thingy. Okay, so you're going to pull all of your tool through here. And... We'll have some oopsies every now and again. I think that can be fixed though. So. Ah. so I'm like starting this out not on a good. You know, the problem is it's so freaking hot in my house right now because our air conditioner is not working. And it's like making my brain waves not function. Okay, now, now you have your first little loop-de-loo -loo on there, and it's over that little nub, just like so. So now we're going to keep moving to the next. You've got another piece of your thing, and normally I do these doubled over, but because we only have so much tool, I want to make sure I have enough first and then I'll come back and and go over if I have enough to do that for right now I'm just gonna do it this way so you see it's hooked over this just like so okay you have it hooked over your waistband let me see Okay, and here's where you're gonna put the knot. So you're just gonna take it, and just like how you tie a balloon, that is how you tie this. And you just keep on repeating this beautiful, tedious process until you're done, which could be a while. I'm going to show you one more time so that we know we're understanding fully what I'm telling you, how this going to work. Okay. So there is band number two. So I hope y'all can see this well. Okay. I'm going to show you one more time, and then that should be good for y'all to just keep repeating the process 
and then I will show you the finished product of how it's gonna look once you finish your tutu. So the reason I said to keep the fold in is because that's how you're gonna know where to loop, like where to hook it over, is right at that fold. You'll already have a crease there. It'll make this process a lot easier so you're not having to like measure out the ends every single time. And I know right now you can still see much of the band, but by the time you're done with this, you will not be able to see the band. So remember you're tying it just like how you tie the end of a balloon. You're just looping it through. So see, this is like a big loop. You see that? And I'm just gonna pull it up. Yes, it is very not hard. It is just, like I said, extremely tedious work and does take, depending on the type of tutu I'm making, like depending on the detail of the tutu, it can take me a while. I've had tutus where I've had to add like pendants and all sorts of jibba jazz, like my daughter's Elsa tutu. That one was pretty tedious because I had to do a double mesh topping, which I could show y'all another video of how to make a child's tutu super easy with a mesh topping. Her Robin tutu for her Batman, for hers and my son's Batman and Robin costumes, that was pretty tedious. I had to sew a lot on that one because I had to add the R patch, which I hand sewed myself, and I had to add little doodads here and there. Her Elsa one had charms on it, like snowflakes or diamonds or something. I can't really remember. Um, and yeah, and I had another that I did for a set of twins. It was like a Harry Potter theme and those had charms on it as well. Sometimes the charms can be a little bit more tedious to work into these tutus. Um, but if y'all are interested in seeing more videos on tutu making, I would be more happy than show you as long as I have an order for a tutu. So also, if you'd like a tutu and you want to order one from me, go for it. That would be awesome, especially right now because I've got so much crap i got to pay off. Ah. Anyway, so I'm going to get back with y'all as soon as I am finished with this whole tutu making process and I will show y'all the finished product so y'all will see exactly how your tutu will turn out if you do it the way I taught you. Alright guys, check back in with you in a little while. Adios amigos. I've been working at it for 30 minutes and I'm like not even halfway done. Gonna keep going guys. Almost done guys, almost done. The pile's getting smaller. <sighs> it has now been an hour and five minutes that I've been working on this. Just have this little pile left to do. About that much of the waistband left. <sighs> I can do this guys. I Here it is all finished. My daughter is trying it on for you guys it's gonna look way different on an adult it's gonna be a little bit shorter on her it looks like a big beautiful princess dress but on an adult it's going to be a little bit shorter probably about knee length quit doing that ginger because you can see your panties whenever you do that all right so just stand real still and let me take pictures so this is how you make a tutu this is what the end result will look like um big fluffy tutu um if you want to see more of these videos hit that subscribe button if you're already subscribed hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button and you will get a notification every single time i post a new video how awesome is that bye guys